First at 10, a West Michigan restaurant owner who defied the state's dine-in ban and other COVID-19 restrictions is now under orders to remain in jail until she pays thousands of dollars and shuts down her business. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly is live at Marlena's Bistro and Pizzeria in Holland tonight after speaking with the owner's attorney. Marisa. Yeah, Ryan, the attorney who is representing Marlena says that they plan to comply with that judge's order uh, and they actually got a head start on it. It's hard to see right now, but supporters today, they ended up uh, boarding up some of those windows and putting signs on her uh, business saying that they're closed. Okay. Boarding up and shutting down. To me, it represents the loss of a battle in, in a bigger fight for freedom. I don't think that it's over. Friday, a handful of people in support of Marlena Pavlos Hackney, who owns Marlena's Bistro and Pizzeria in Holland, reluctantly nailed plywood to the restaurant's doors and taped were closed signs to the windows. I am disappointed that more Michigan restaurants haven't taken a stand for their personal rights. Every restaurant should be free, should feel the freedom without fear of the governor to issue their own health protocols. Earlier in the morning, Michigan State Police arrested Pavlos Hackney during a traffic stop in Ottawa County on an outstanding warrant for contempt of court for not complying with a civil case. In January, the state suspended her food license after investigators said she ignored the state's indoor dining ban and other COVID-19 restrictions, even alleging a customer contracted COVID-19 there, putting the community's health at risk. The restaurant continued to operate, and earlier this month, an Ingham County judge ordered the arrest. Friday, a separate judge ruled Pavlos Hackney to stay in jail until a $7,500 fine is paid and the restaurant be shut down. So you guys are working to comply with the order? Exactly, exactly, and then we will, we will fight the good fight on everything else. Which her attorney, Richard Baker, says they plan to do, hoping for her release by Monday. There's um, due process issues. There's also equal protection issues because a lot of companies are open. A lot of people are doing the same thing. Some businesses were shut down. This whole, and I understand what the governor is trying to do, but it's decimated the small businesses in Michigan. Now, the supporters we spoke to here today say that a rally is being planned for tomorrow right here in front of Marlena's. And they say in light of what happened to today, they are expecting a big turnout. They say lots of people are upset by her arrest and see this as a violation of their civil liberties and rights. Uh, for a full breakdown of this story, you can visit our website right now at fox17online.com. Reporting in Holland, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.